Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send email attachment to Telegram. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new email with attachment, we want to send that particular attachment to our Telegram group or channel. For this, we are going to create an integration between email parser and Telegram. For creating this integration, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, we are going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, we will be using email parser, in action application, we will be using Telegram. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today our objective is that we need to send the attachment files that we are getting on our mails to our Telegram channel or group. For this, we will first filter out the mails with attachment and then we will send those attachment links to our Telegram group or channel. And also I want to automate this process so that it can save my time and energy. So for this, I will create an integration between my Gmail account and my Telegram account. For creating this, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this page. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and it will take us to this page and here we can see these are all the tools that Pabli offers. We are going to use Pabli Connect here. I will click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflow that we will create here. This is the folder section and we can create new folders from here and we can save any particular workflow in any particular folders. Now we are going to create a workflow. For that, I will click here on a create workflow button and this window will pop up. I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective. I will name it as send email attachment to Telegram. Now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow in. So my folder will be home. So I will click on create and it will take me to this most important window of my workflow. Here we have two boxes, triggers and action. These two boxes are the main principle on which my workflow works on. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in my workflow and action will just follow that. For my trigger application, I will use email parser, which is a tool by Pabli. With help of this tool, I will forward all of my emails to my Pabli Connect account. For that, I will search for email parser. I'll click here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a connection between email parser and my Gmail account. For that, I'm going to copy this email and I will open my Gmail account. I'll click on settings and see all settings. I will go to forwarding and POP slash IMAP. And here I will add a new forwarding address. So I'll click here. I'll paste that email address here and I will click on next. I will click on proceed. And it says a confirmation link has been sent to this email to verify permission. So I will click on OK and I will go back to Public Connect. And here in the response section, we can see a new email link has been sent for confirmation. So I will open that. So in this body text, we have this link for confirmation. So I will just copy this and open this in a new tab. And I will click on confirm. And now I will go back to my Gmail account. I will refresh this. So my email is added successful. So I will click here. I will click on save changes. Now anyone who will send an email to my account, this will forward a mail to Public Connect. So I will go back to Public Connect and I will click on recapture email parcel response. Now I will send a test email to my account. I will go back to my Gmail account and I will refresh this. And here we can see we have a new email here. I will open this. So subject of my email is attachment testing and contained is this is your attachment and this is my attachment. Now we'll go back to Public Connect and here we can see we have this new response. Let's check it out. So in the subject, we have attachment testing and the body text is this is your attachment and this is the attachment link. 
So we are going to use this link and we are going to send this as a message to our telegram group. We want to send message on a particular email in which the email has attachment. So for that we will set up a filter and for setting this up I will open this action tab and I will search for filter and I will filter it out with my attachment link. So I will select that attachment link from the response that we got in our trigger. So I will open this and I will open this response and I will map my attachment link and my filter will be exist. So if my attachment link exists in my email then only this will work. So I will click on save and send test request button. Now we can see that condition is true. We have this attachment link in our email. So we will set up our action. I will click on here add action step. I will search for my action application which will be telegram. I will give my action event which will be send a document slash image. I will click on connect and I will click on add new connection. Now for connecting my telegram account with Pavlin Connect, I have to give a token. Now for getting this token, you have to follow all this step that has been given in instructions. Now I will open my telegram app and I will search for bot father. I will open this. I will click here and I will select slash new bot. So this will create a new bot for me. Now I have to name my bot. I will name it as Pabli754 and I will send enter. Now I have to give a username for my bot and for giving a username you have to keep this in mind that your username should always end with underscore bot. Now I will give username as Pabli754 underscore bot. I will send this and this has generated a token for me and this is my bot. So I will copy this token and I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will paste it here and now I will click on save. And here we can see my connection is successful and now I have to give a chat ID. For getting the chat ID I will go back to my telegram account. I will first start my bot and now I will go back and create a new group. I will add connections and I have to add my bot here. I will name it as Pabli attachment and I have successfully created a group. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and here we can see my bot doesn't have admin or authorization. For this I'm going to open telegram on my phone and I have to give admin authorization to my bot. Now I will refresh this and here we can see now my bot has admin authorization. Now what we need is we want chat ID. For that I will look for my chat ID in my URL. So here this is my chat ID. I will copy this and I will go back to Pabli Connect. And in chat ID section I will paste that and I will add 100 ahead of this. Now I have to give caption. I will map my caption according to my subject of my email. For mapping I will click here. I will open the response and I will search for subject. So this will be my caption attachment testing. Now I will map the URL slash file ID. For that I will again map it from the from the response that we got on my trigger. So I will open this. I will again open my, my trigger response and I will search for attachment link. So this is my URL and this is my caption. Now the question is why I have used mapping? So I have used mapping so that I can retrieve the data from my trigger response and whenever I get a new response in my trigger section this response get exchanged and we will get real data in real time. Now we'll scroll down and click on save and send test request button. And here we can see we have this response. Now whether to check we have sent it the message on my telegram account or not. We will go back to my telegram and we can see this is the group that we have created and my bot has sent a message. So here we can see that we have this message by my bot and we have sent the attachment that we got on our email and our integration is working successfully. Now we will go back to my Pabli Connect account and we will summarize what we did here. 
First, we have forwarded all the emails that we are getting on my Gmail and we have forwarded that on my public connect. For forwarding this message, we have used trigger and our trigger application was email parcel and our trigger event here was capture email parcel. Then we have set up a filter for those email on which we are getting the attachment links. So for filter out, we have set up another action and we use a tool that Pabli offers, which is filter by Pabli. And then we have set up our action and our action application was telegram bot and our action event was send a document slash image. So our workflow is successfully created and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And also I will put the link of this workflow in description. You can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.